everyone, Simon here, Bangkok Chronicles, don't know what number. Today I'm going to, we'll move away from Chinatown, come back into Pratnam Wholesale Clothing Market, where my condo was. A lot of subscribers have asked me about football shirts. Now, oh, I mentioned before there were some large African ladies downstairs at the bottom of the condos in the shops who were shipping lots of clothes. One morning, whilst I was having breakfast in the car park section of the condos, I got chatting to one of these ladies and she was talking about football shirts. She invited me down to her shop and explained that she was buying all these football shirts. Now, in Asia, you can buy counterfeit, almost perfect replica football shirts. Now, in my own country, in the UK, recently bought one for my stepson and it was about 50 pounds expensive now back then 15 years ago you could buy one of these perfect replica shirts for 350 baht which was five pounds then about seven and a half us dollars now they're 10 pound so 12 dollars and she showed me all these shirts she was buying and she was buying all the replica shirts and shipping them to Africa and other places. But I explained I couldn't do that. I didn't want to buy and sell counterfeit products. But then I noticed that the shirts, a lot of the shirts coming in, didn't have all the badges on. They were the same material, identical. The different colour shirts, the, but there was nothing on them. There was no footballers' names. There was no numbers on them. There was nothing saying what club they were. And she was printing this stuff on herself with all this posh machinery uh, apparently and she was getting badges and putting them on herself to make them cheaper and better and that got me thinking and that point i asked her where i could get these shirts from with nothing on them and she pointed me straight to a little back door of a shop in Pratanam. a quick visit I could buy these shirts for 150 baht. Any of these, all these football club shirts, the colours, so plain shirts, blue, white, red, whatever, orange, but nothing marked, no marks on them. So they're just apparel, they're just shirts, they're just coloured shirts. Nothing wrong with that. 150, somewhere 200 baht, but anyway, they were cheapest chips. That sparked something in my mind the handbags I was doing, homage handbags, with no items on them saying that they were Louis Vuitton or whatever, just looked similar. I jumped on the internet, did lots of research, and looked at all these football shirts, and at that time, there was really nothing much on the shirts apart from um, some printing on them, or embroidered badges in those days. Uh, then holograms came out later, but even the holograms were like a sticker on a little badge. I investigated the internet and I did it over a few weeks. I was searching and talking to people. I fired um, some emails off to companies but could not locate all these badges and things and um, stick on numbers and letters that you could iron on. But I then found a company in the UK. This company sold all those letters and the different sizes that all the little badges for the football clubs even the holograms badges that you stitch on and the embroidered patches from the main clubs and after talking to them they were um, every badge they sold they paid royalties to the football clubs they were all above board and any badge you bought royalties were paid now me being nosy and asking them the questions and things, I fired emails off to football clubs and eBay. Only one football club came back to me and that was Tottenham Hotspur. So thank you, Tottenham. They came back to me and said, um, I could, if I was buying badges from this company, which was registered with them and they were getting royalties, I could sew those badges onto any shirt, apparel, any item I wanted because I owned the badges and I'd paid the royalties. And I explained to them in a, another email 
that these shirts look the same as their football shirts, same colours and all the rest, and selling the badges separately for people to sew on, would that um, contra would it be classed as counterfeit products or anything? No, not at all. If you're buying the badges and paying the royalty on the badges, um, you, you stitch them on, well, you get the person who buys the shirt to stitch them on, it was all legal above board and they would have no problem with me selling the shirts on eBay with his badge as a pack, providing I put all the disclaimers in and explained the laws. Once I had that email from them, I copied it off to eBay, pictures of the shirts, pictures of the badges. Yep, yeah, it's no problem, you, you, it's all copyright, it's all, you know, paying royalties. That was like hitting the jackpot. There I was living in Prattenham Market, all these shirt, plain shirts available for pennies. My only problem was logistics. All the badges I wanted were in the UK, the shirts were in Thailand, my customers were all over the world. So I made an investment and I bought, um, and it was quite, those badges were quite expensive. You know, the badges were a set of badges for one shirt and all the iron on stickers were about five pounds. But with calculations, I was thinking, people are still gonna buy these. If I put a shirt for three pound and badges for five, eight plus postage, it was about 11, 12 pound. You still sell them for 20, people would pay. Um, or maybe it would be £15, but if £5 a shirt profit, you could sell a lot of shirts, even if you cut it down to a couple of pounds. So I ordered about 10 packs of each football of the top 20 football clubs, bought all the shirts, 10 of each, to wait for the stuff to come from UK, all the badges and stuff, that only took about 10 days. <coughs> shirts, photographed everything up on eBay and I made a set template for quick uploading of all these shirts. And I listed all the shirts in the right advert. And again, I fired an email to eBay with one of my adverts to see if it was all okay. And yes, in those days, eBay used to talk to you. Not now, but then they did. It was a nightmare today to get hold of eBay and to talk to somebody. But in those days, all fine. So there it was, I had football shirts, well shirts, I had football badges. They were simple to iron on the badges or stitch on. Let's say it was about 11 pound, well for argument's sake, let's say it was 10 pound for a shirt and badges shipped off to most places in the world. Um, I put them on and I had 10 of each, I put one of each club on with 10 available on ebay.com, all around the world. I got loads of inquiries, loads of questions, loads of questions from other eBayers saying you can't sell this and you can you, how can you do this? And <laughs> lots of complaints, but I was above board. Um, I had no problem eBay at all. And I put them on eBay um, and I priced them at about 20 pound each. And they, I sold a couple, but they weren't selling. When I did my, research at that time the original shirts were only about 28 pound it wasn't enough saving for people uh, and i ended up dropping the price and i put them down to i think it was 14 pound 99 and then as soon as i did that bang they just exploded all the ones i had about 100 shirts that get sold within three or four days completely gone couldn't believe it and I was making okay about three pound fifty um, a shirt after the shipping on average but that was about 350 pound profit you know that was back then that was 20,000 baht plus and it was 100 meters from my condo an order over the line for the UK company for the badges absolutely all above board through the post office and customs you're only sending, sending one shirt at a time. It was like in a jiffy bag. It was no problem. It was amazing. So today, can you do it today? Yes. If you're buying plain shirts, plain apparel. Another example, you could go to Prattenham Market. You can buy a tailored shirt, 
that looks like one of the top brands. And a lot of the top brands, okay, they've got a label in the back here, and on the top of your uh, pocket, they might have some initials and things. You can buy those badges and pay royalties on those badges. There's different companies. Um, motocross, motorcycle racing shirts were the same. I even dabbled with those. You could buy the badges from the same company in Britain. There was Formula One stuff. There was all the sports around the world. I even tried American baseball shirts. They went well. And it was all from the badges from the one company. You'd go on, everything was there. Go and find the shirts. But tailored shirts. Um, I did dabble a bit. And Diesel was the brand. And you could buy a, a badge and pay the copyright at royalties for the badge. And it goes on the top of the shirt. And they, they were pennies, again. So you're not selling counterfeit products. You're selling a made in China, made in Malaysia, made in Thailand shirt. You're buying badges and you're paying the royalties. You put the two together and you're selling them online. I did that with the shirts and all the different shirts right through my two years and I made a lot of money with them. I ended up buying hundreds of patches, badges at a time from this company in the UK. And I shipped thousands of shirts all over the world. Everything was written on the eBay advert. It told people everything and how they put the badges on. There was pictures. There was pictures of the royalty uh, declarations from this company. They gave me permission to put all their details on because it generated them more sales. The adverts looked fabulous. It was all about appearance and it looked great. And the quality of the pictures, really good. Made an absolute killing on shirts and you still can today. So if any of you are looking for the products, it took me a while, but there's a way around selling online with shirts that look like football shirts and stuff. That's all from Prasenam Market, those shirts. If you're gonna buy a quantity, hundreds of shirts at a time, you go down to Bobay Market, which I think I've marked on my interactive map, 11 o'clock at night, through till about five in the morning, the shirts come in and you buy a bag of 100 shirts at a time. The price goes down, and they're half price because you're buying the quantity. Uh, tailored shirts as well, but you end up buying one size, one color, same as the shirt. So you would end up with thousands of shirts. It's then the storage problem. Um, but these African ladies had the shops and that's what they were doing. They were buying hundreds of shirts, thousands, putting them all together. Apparel, there you go. Now. The company in, in the UK I was buying these badges off that all the copyrights paid also did all the badges for the handbags. Now I didn't go down that route. I could have quite easily, but if I'm not mistaken, you could buy the badges um, from this company, get the plain homage handbags, sell them together, not put them on yourself, but sell them together for the customer to decide if they're gonna put those on. There's a possibility there. And purses, wallets, very good chance you could do that as well. Anyway, so we're away from Chinatown today. We're in Pratanam. In 2017, Pratanam market is still, got all the little hidden alleyways and all the underground cellars. But now in Bangkok, they're building huge malls all around Pratanam. And they're pushing these little shops inside aircon but all those little shops are still there in the new malls but you have to talk and get to know the sellers and look they've usually got catalogs as well you can look through pictures we'll do another story on Prasnam because another huge part there is shoes and yes there's a market on shoes to be made money to be made and also another one is the rock, um, how would you describe it? 
all the musicians around the world, the rock artists and superstars and, uh, and singers, have like ACDC and uh, all the heavy rock bands um, have shirts. And again, same design shirt, same badges and things. You, they're all there in Pratanam as well. But they also do all the replica identical ones, but don't sell those. A whole section that I found. Um, and if you're a punk rocker, which is years ago, there's a stack of shops at the back of Prasnam that sells all the metal gear and nose rings and earrings and all the punk rock stuff. Remember seeing that recently. And then another subject will be hats. Big, big market. We could go on for weeks with all these different products, but I know some of you guys are out there trying to find products, <coughs> excuse me, trying to find products that you can sell online. Hopefully this will point in the right direction. Not no fancy pictures today, but thanks for watching. And um, again, that interactive map shows some of the bits for you, and that's on my website, landersmilesthailand.com. YouTube menu at the top, point at it, and then a little menu will pop up. Interactive map. You can have a look and zoom in. At the moment, it's just got the areas where I'm talking about. I will add more to it as I learn how to. Thanks for watching. Hope it's, this helps you, or helps some of you. I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.